sleepwalking, the truth behind your midnight adventures, and how to stop it. Imagine waking up outside with no idea how you got there, or finding your child standing in the kitchen, making a sandwich, completely asleep, or even stranger. There was a case of a man who got in his car and drove 10 miles in his sleep. Sounds impossible? Right. But it happens, and you could be sleepwalking too without even realizing it. Sleepwalking is one of the most mysterious sleep disorders, and it's more common than you might think. So why does this happen? Is it dangerous? And most importantly, can it be stopped? Let's find out. By the end of this episode, you will know the science behind sleepwalking, the biggest triggers that cause it, how to protect yourself or loved ones from sleepwalking dangers, how your sleep environment may actually reduce sleepwalking and some real life cases that will blow your mind. If you care about sleep, your health and living more sustainably, make sure to subscribe because we are uncovering the secrets to better sleep every week. So what is exactly sleepwalking? Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, happens when your brain is stuck between deep sleep and wakefulness. Your body moves, but your conscious mind is still asleep. People might sit up in bed and stare blankly, wander around the house, talk, mumble, or even shout, and in extreme cases, cook, drive, or even leave the house. The craziest part, they don't remember a thing the next morning. But what causes it? Let's explore that next. Sleepwalking isn't random. It's triggered by a mix of biology, sleep patterns, and lifestyle factors. Genetics. Research suggests sleepwalking runs in families. In fact, a large twin study published in the American Journal of Medical Genetics found a strong genetic link in both childhood and adult sleepwalking. If one parent sleepwalks, the chances increases significantly. Stress and anxiety, high cortisol levels, disrupt deep sleep, making sleepwalking more likely. And poor sleep hygiene, irregular bedtime, too much screen time before bed, or even sleep deprivation can trigger an episode. Also, alcohol and medications, some substances interfere with deep sleep, causing your brain to half wake up, but not completely. Fever or illness, infections and fevers can lead to sleep disturbances, especially in children. But is sleepwalking just a word, quirk, or is it actually dangerous? Let's talk about it. In some cases, sleepwalking is harmless. People just shuffle around and go back to bed. But in extreme cases, it can be life-threatening. A sleepwalker might fall downstairs, walk outside in freezing temperature, or like that famous case, get into a car and start driving. In fact, one study found that up to 58% of sleepwalkers have experienced a serious injury during an episode. So what can you do about it? The good news? You can reduce sleepwalking episodes with the right approach. Here is how. Create a safe sleep environment. Remove sharp objects and keep doors and windows safe. Consider using door alarms or motion sensors. If someone in your home sleepwalks, install baby gates at the top of the stairs. Keep the floor clear to prevent trips and falls. Stick to a consistent sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This keeps your sleep cycle stable and reduces disruptions. Optimize your sleep environment. Research suggests that poor sleep quality increases the likelihood of sleepwalking episodes. Ensuring a comfortable, temperature-regulating sleep environment reduces sleep disturbances. At Devon Device, we specialize in crafting natural wool bedding designed to regulate temperature and create a deeper, more restful sleep. Better sleep could mean fewer disruptions and a lower chance of sleepwalking episodes. Also, reduce stress before bed. Try deep breathing, meditation or reading a book. Avoid screen time at least one hour before bed. Avoid alcohol and stimulants. Caffeine and alcohol can interfere with deep sleep, making episodes more likely. Consult a doctor if needed. 
If sleepwalking happens frequently or become dangerous, a doctor can help with CBT, cognitive behavior, behavioral therapy, or other solutions. Here's something well to think about. Sleepwalking is proof that our brain are never fully off, even when we are in deep sleep. Some parts of the brain remain active, and sometimes those parts decide to take the midnight adventures. Sleepwalking is fascinating, mysterious, and sometimes dangerous. But the more we understand it, the better we can manage it and get the quality sleep our bodies need. And if you are someone you know struggle with sleepwalking, remember, a safe and comfortable sleep environment matters. Quality sleep can reduce sleepwalking episodes, and scientists are still unlocking the full mystery of sleepwalking. Have you ever seen someone sleepwalk, or have you sleepwalking stories of your own? Drop it in the comments. If you found this episode interesting, hit the like button. It helps more people discover these sleep facts. Want to learn more? Check out sleepwalking study we have mentioned in the description below. And if you want more surprising insight into sleep and well-being, subscribe and turn on notifications. We've got more coming soon. And of course, visit devonduwijs.com. I'm Dick Bain of Devon Duwijs. Sleep well and stay safe from any unexpected midnight adventure.